Okay, so in this one we were saying in all. So they're talking about it when it was 5 a.m. So we're taking our $300 that it originally was, and we're subtracting 189 from that because that's the new price that it's going to be, and figuring out our discount is going to be 300 minus 189. We are saving a whopping $111. If we get there before 5 a.m. Hey, can you hold on for a second? Okay. Just a second. Okay. So that was a $111 discount. Okay. It said explain, so this was the original price. And then I subtracted the um, sale price in order to get the discount. Okay. After both discounts were taken, what was the total percent discount. So uh, remember earlier we said we couldn't just do 30 plus 10 and say that we were getting 40% off. So we're looking for the total percent. So part, percent, and whole. So we just said we're looking for the percent. Our whole price was $300. That was our original. And then what we ended up with, our sale price, um, was $189. Actually, um, a better way, and the way that we have been doing this. Our part, remember, is our um, amount that it has changed. And so the amount that it changed was the discount, which was $111. So we took the $300 minus the $189. That gave us our discount. Um, and that was the change in the amount of the price. So our part is always our change, or we can use it as our change. There, the other way would have worked, but we would have had to do subtraction afterwards. So part is equal to percent times the whole. The part is 111 is equal to the percent was X times the whole was 300. And then we divide each side by 300. And so 111, 111 divided by, oh, 300, 300 equals 0.37 equals x. So we move that decimal two places to the right. So that gives me 37% discount. Which makes sense because we said earlier, hey, why can't we just do the 30 plus the 10, which would give us 40. So we're almost getting a 40% discount, but it's not quite. It's a 37% discount. So that does make sense. It's a little bit less than the 40%. Um, instead of purchasing the bike for $300, how much would you save if you bought it before 5 a.m.? And we already said um, you would save $111. That was the discount amount. Okay. Exercise one is a lot like example number two. You have the 25% off and then an, an additional 5%. Remember, we can't do that all together as 30%. So go ahead and pause the video, try it on your own, and then play the video in order to check to see if you're correct. Okay. Sasha went shopping and decided to purchase a set of bracelets for 25% percent off the the regular price which would be our original 
If Sasha buys the bracelets today, she saves an additional 5%. And the sale price of the set of bracelets with both discounts, how much money will Sasha save if she buys both buys the bracelets today? Okay, so here's the price of the bracelets. Here's a nice little picture. $44 is the price of our pay bracelets. So first we need to figure out how much it would be with 25% off. Part percent whole. Our part is what we're looking for. Um, our percent, we are going to be taking our original minus. How much are we paying? We're paying for 75% of the bracelets. We're paying for 75% of the bracelets. And the whole cost, the original, was $44. Part equals percent times the whole. The part is X. Percent is 0.75. And the whole is 44. 0.75 times 44 is equal to $33. So it is $33 after 25% off. Okay. And then if she buys them today, part percent whole, she gets another 5% off. So 5% if I'm Taking 100 minus 5, that gives me 95, so that's how much I'm paying. I'm paying 95% of the whole, which was the original, which I have to look at. It's $33 at this point is our original. And part is what I'm looking for. So P is equal to percent times the whole. Part is X time equals 90, 0.95 times 33. 0.95 times 33 equals 31.35. So x is equal to 31.95. So the price that she would buy today um, would be 31.95. This is the sale price. But that's not our question. It says, how much will she save if she buys them today? Okay, so the original price was $44. And the price I'm paying is $31.95. Remember, saw some mistakes here. Remember. You have to line up these decimals in order to subtract $44. Remember, there's a decimal and two zeros behind that, so you need to line them up in order to do that subtraction. Or if you do it in your calculator, $44 minus $31.25 equals $12.75. Oh, it was 95. Okay, that's not right then. 44, 31, 90, I forgot already. 44. Equals $12.05. So be careful, we're entering the right stuff. $12.05. Saved. That's how much she is saving. That's our final answer. That answers our question. So I boxed in the other stuff because it is important, but this is my final answer. She saved $12.05. That's actually answering the question. Number two, a golf store purchases a set of clubs at a wholesale price of $250. So they paid $250 for it. Mr. Edmund learned that the clubs were marked up 
percent. Is it possible to have a percent increase? So a markup and a percent increase are the same thing. Greater than 100 percent. And yes, it is possible. You can do that. You're allowed to have, it can go above 100 percent. 100 percent is just always how much something is out of. What is the retail price of the club? So how much would you be paying for those clubs? So part, percent, and whole. Okay, so the original price or percent was 100%. What was the $250? Plus we're having a markup of 200%. And so that gives me these are 300% percent of the cost and so if we move our decimal two places to the left one two the percent is three um, as a as a quote unquote decimal the decimal would fall right here 3.0 um, but that is how we are going to be using that okay our whole is the original price and our part is X so part is equal to the percent times the whole the part is X is equal to the percent nope I was starting to put a decimal I'm so used to that um, is three it's not three percent it's three hundred percent written as a decimal in this case it happens to also be a whole number times 250 so X is equal to three times 250 gives me $750. So those clubs are going to cost you $750. Okay. Number three, is, the, is a percent increase of a set of golf clubs from 250 to 750 the same as a markup um, rate of 200%. Well, let's just look. We had 250 was the price and it went up to 750. And it's asking, is, is it the same as a 200% markup rate? Or And that's what we were marking it up. That's how we got our answer. Um, so yes, it is the same. percent increase and markup the markup rate the percentage um, both of them show how much the new price is over the original. Okay. That's why we're working these the same. One, we were dealing with the percents, um, which is what we've been using lately, is our percent because we're looking at a markup rate. And so we're adding and subtracting one to um, the 100 and then before when we were dealing with the percent increase we were just um, adding and subtracting to find the change in the part um, because we were looking for what the percent was going to be okay um, okay so example three you will be able to find in our next video module four lesson seven part two